Go on. Go. What are you just standing there for? Go on. Go back to wheat. Yeah, see? You're a cheeky little shit, you know that, right? It's been about nine days since our last video, and in those nine days we haven't really done much. i um, just been doing maybe an hour or two every night, and buttoning, buttoning up some stuff that we needed to finish and get on top of. We've probably only got about two and a half, three weeks before race season kicks off, so we're running a little bit behind, probably left it a bit too late. Um, yeah, so in the last week uh, we've been doing some little bit of sign riding, which you'll see in this video. Uh, I smashed out the tyre rack in the truck, we completely pretty much stripped Nathaniel's old car, um, putting a lot of the old parts onto the new car just because they're newer and better condition. And yeah, so that, today's video is just going to be um, bits and pieces that I've snipped together over the last week and thrown it in for this video. So hopefully you like it, um, if not, too bad, I'm making it anyway, nah, I'm only joking. <laughs> smash these out, these are going to be the uh, braces for the tyre rack inside the truck. Ignore my welds, they're not exactly two crash hot, especially that one. We'll just leave that on top of there. Alright, that's those three done. So the idea is... These sit in here, the tyres sit there, and then I'll put bars across all three of them, going back that way, and um, that should give us plenty of room. Alright, it's all up, use that as a measurement, so bolted in and welded as well, don't look at the weld too closely, but that should do nicely. Uh, keep it a bit more neat, originally we did have a bar there, and a bar there, and a cross brace across the two, and just ran tyres across the back and it was fucking annoying trying to get them out every time we got to race and then put them back in at the end of the night so this should keep everything in the truck and not have to worry about it so much. So I finished up with doing a bit of crap on the truck and then decided to come do some work on the sign riding for the car. I've um, got a black background getting mapped out at the moment, got some grey silver out there. So trying to keep with the colour scheme of the paint job that's already on the car. Um, pretty much my idea is, so have the silver and then the black and then this will be gold but just an idea, smash that over the top and hopefully should that should all come together nicely and make it pop on the side of the car. It's all trial and error, I haven't actually tried this multi-layer shit before but we'll give it a crack. but better than nothing so I'll order some new gold and get it redone but for now I reckon that will just about do it <laughs> yeah how many people are going to end up commenting on this going that is the most awkward way to do it You boys seem to be making heaps of progress. What are you learning so far, Matt? Uh, <laughs> <laughs>
I really need to find a way to define like who I'm talking to because if I say Matt or Nat, you both go, huh? Just say Lux, don't know who it is. You know, well, actually, no, I just have to call him Carl Norton Jr. and we're good. Or Johnny. <laughs> You're going to learn how to do it at like 100k an hour in fucking them um, Premier. It's going to be fun. I'll get there eventually. It might take like five or six seasons. Well, as long as I don't roll this season, it's a positive. Mm. Hey, you get that out the way early. <laughs> yeah, Nat got it out the way early and then he did his good. You don't, you don't want to be scared of waiting for that to happen. You want to just no, fuck it up right off and go. There's still part of Premier Speedway <laughs> stuck in the cage. Yeah, there is actually. You want to fuck that up and get right at the road first, so you're not scared of winning again. Yeah, if you get that out of the way first, and you get your wall right out of the way, and yeah. then... I'm going to make sure I've got it, though. And then you get out... Oh, uh, well, you get bloody, um... Maybe four or five right rears out of the way. I don't three. No, no, on, I'm three. talking about between the two of us. Oh. Yeah, no, we've got to but who's playing for You? Yeah. <laughs> I have pretty much stripped the old VX81 down to skin and bones. Still got the motor and radiator and a few other nerf bars and torsion arms to come out and fuel system. Um, we're putting the old 411 winters out of Nat's old car into this new girl. Um, we're also going to change the sump to the slanted sump out of that one. Uh, the torque ball and um, whatnot out of this car was a little bit how you going. It had a fairly decent lip on it um, where it's been pushing hard into the into the cup. So lips on there, um, which we could, probably could sand and fix, but we've got a good torque ball out of the old car, so we're just going to use that one down there. Throw that in, um, get all that all squared up. Uh, we're also putting in the KRE steering box, um, or KSE, sorry, not KRE. Um, put that steering box in, it's a lot newer steering box and it doesn't have any slop in it. This one's got a fair bit of bloody play in it and is a bit older. Uh, so after we've done that, got all that together, we should be right to throw some wheels on it and take it out the paddock for a bit of a test drive which we'll make a video about that and probably within the next week um, again my car is still sitting here doing absolutely bugger all um, partially got the seat bolted in so just trying to get everything lined up so I don't end up too tall for the cage uh, plan with the old cage uh, we're probably going to get it uh, might look at getting it sandblasted repainted and then either sell it and find a taller cage and start building a, a sprint car or just sell it as is not sure yet uh, we'll work that out the cage is a bit too small for me to drive but we are looking at building a ls sprint or possibly a 360 in the next year or so so it could be a donor shell for that but um probably going to need a bit bigger of a cage i really like the 88 40 and a half cool chassis that thing is just awesome so wouldn't mind getting another one of them i'm not sure the size of that one yet i haven't actually measured it up it's a jb chassis i think that's american i'm not sure someone did say they did make jb chassis in australia i have no idea to be honest so i'm still new to all this but so that's our race day update for now um should be hitting the track in about Two and a half weeks, three weeks, October 1st at Avalon. So no practice days for us between now and then. Hopefully all goes well and we can get there. And yeah, that's about it. Have fun.